Do you have a mundane task at work that just sucks the life out of you? Is Internet Explorer the only web browser that you can use to complete that task? Hi, I'm Jared Fiacco, and today I give you six tips and tricks on how to use the Selenium library in Python to automate tasks in Internet Explorer. First off, we'll look at, is this the right tool for you? What version of the IE web driver should I download? How do I set up the security settings so Python stops throwing errors? We'll look at implicit weights, explicit weights, and how to toggle between web pages. So let's get to it. Tip number one, is this even the right tool for you? Um, if you? If you have to use Internet Explorer to accomplish your task, then yes, I would say it's the right tool for you. Like if you're on a legacy system and the only browser that's supported for that system is Internet Explorer, for sure, continue the video. If not, if you can use Chrome, if you can use Firefox or something along those lines, pick your browser of choice, type it into YouTube, search for how to use um, Python, Selenium library, Chrome. You'll find a slew of videos that'll teach you how to do the thing. Um, for the rest of you, come along to step two. Which web driver should I get? Which version, the 32-bit or the 64-bit? Well. The short answer is the 32-bit version. For some reason, IE is defaulted to the 32-bit version when it's on your computer. I don't know why, but to save yourself some trouble, download the 32-bit web driver version. Link in the description. Tip number three, security settings. For some reason, if your security settings in Internet Explorer aren't to a T, you're gonna get errors thrown by Python. How do you fix it? So go to this gear icon in Internet Explorer, Internet Options, bring this over. We're gonna look at Security tab. And for each one of these, Internet, Local Internet, Trusted Sites, and Restricted Sites, we're gonna make sure that this, where it says Enable Protected Mode, that requires restarting Internet Explorer, we're gonna make sure that that is always either on or always off. In my case, I just said, I'm gonna turn it off. I hit okay, and there you go. Tip number four, implicit weights. So you don't need to download the time library from Python in order to make Python quote unquote sleep for a couple number of seconds. Um, you can use implicit weights, which is a native function to your web driver for Selenium. Um, if you want, you can make the web driver wait 10 seconds. Um, essentially, no matter how long it takes, if you expect a process to take a certain number of seconds, you can use this. If you want to get a little crazier, let's go to step number five. Tip number five is explicit weights. So in Selenium, you can explicitly say, I want to wait until something happens, right? So it gives you a bunch of different options until there's an alert present, until an element that you're that you want to select is able to be selected, um, until there's some elements visible. You can run through these. Take a look at this link. I'll leave it in the description. Um, it explains the explicit weights and also has an uh, implicit weight explanation as well. Take a look. And finally, tip number six, toggle between websites. Essentially, this is very easy. All you have to do is say to the driver, open up, uh, this is your window that you wanna look into, uh, zero being the first window that you open, one being the second window that you open. Um, you, name, you name this window as a variable, and then you say driver.switch2.window, and the name of which variable that you're looking for. Um, it's a very simple task to do. If you have any questions, feel free to ask or look up more information. Another thing that can throw off IE, uh, Selenium and Python, um, is if for some reason your screen is zoomed in or zoomed out too much. I don't know why it happens, but um, what you can do is go to code, go to your code, you can ignore zoom settings, set that equal to true. Um, 
make sure that's one of your desired capabilities for your web driver. Super simple um, and it helps you have fewer errors. In this video, I'll give you seven tips on how to use the Selenium IE web driver in Python more effectively. We learn to stay away completely unless we're trying to automate a task in a legacy system. <clears throat> we learn to download the 32-bit version, not the 64-bit version. Uh, we learn how to set up IE security to throw fewer errors, um, how to use implicit and explicit weights, how to toggle between open web pages, and how to avoid more arrows being thrown by Python um, by setting our zoom levels to 100%. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. If this helped you at all, please drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.